whatever it is you need, the kingdom of heaven is here. It's in you. And all this is, is saying amen to that. Jesus instituted two ordinances in the church. One was water baptism, and one is the Lord's Supper, which basically showed the same thing. It's the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. Jesus paid it all. And so, let's just take the bread. Let's hold it up and say, Lord Jesus, this is your body that was broken for me. By your stripes, I was. Therefore, I am healed. So I say now to sickness, to disease, to every spirit of infirmity, I command you in the name of Jesus to go now from my body, from the bodies of my brothers and sisters, from all the areas of their soul, by your stripes. Let's partake together. Thank you, Lord. Well, there's the power of God just now. Just relax. Life. 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 Just take the cup, hold it up, say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus this is your blood is your that was shed for me. This is the blood of the New Testament. All that you are, I am. All that you have, I have. By your blood, I am delivered out of death into your divine life. Thank you, Jesus. Let's partake together. Now, if you pass your cups to the center, I'll have an usher to pick those up. Let's go ahead and take those. After you do that, just stand up. Because, see, we are celebrating the covenant meal. We're celebrating the Lord's Supper. This is not a time to think, oh, poor Jesus, or for you to think how bad you are or how wicked you are. This is a time to exalt Jesus for everything that he's done in your life and through your life, all that you are, all that he's going to continue to do because he's Lord. So let's celebrate the fact that we're healed and free in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on. Anybody, I'm just going to release you, but anybody you want to give testimony uh, prior to that, just receiving that communion. You just receive. Uh, uh, again, I don't go by feeling. I uh, sense the power of God. So if you want to give testimony, you had pain or weakness or something in your body, and after you did the communion, all of a sudden, whew, it's not there anymore. You want to give glory to Jesus for that? We'll give you time to do that. I'm not trying to embarrass you. It's amazing. We go to third world countries, and... We'll say, okay, who's got pain, who's got sickness and, and disease, and practically everybody will stand up. And so you'll get hundreds of people that will stand up. And so you say, in the name of Jesus, I command the spirit of infirmity, devil, pain, go, in Jesus' name. I said, okay, <clears throat> who got healed? So everybody raises their hand. So I think they don't understand me. And so I said, all right, sit down. Everybody sit down. Okay. You came in here, you had pain, but you, but it, and you still have it, stand up. Nobody stands up. I said, maybe they're not understanding. <laughs> and, but really, they all, they all get it. They get it just like that. Oh, the power of God. They get it just like that. And then usually there may be one or two, and then we'll, we'll minister to them personally. You know. But I mean, just a command. That's the way Jesus did it. He spoke. He commanded that thing to, to go. And then again, if that body needs repair, we just put our hands on there. In the name of Jesus, let the life of God flow. And this is it. This is the, the, the message and the method of Jesus. Praise God. I do so appreciate you. We are meeting here on a regular basis uh, on Sundays. We're going to continue to do so. I want to thank all of you for supporting us, for coming on a regular basis. If you're looking for a place to get hooked in, our vision is, again, to uh, demonstrate the person in the work of the Lord Jesus Christ, the fact that we are all sons of God after the Son of God. And can I say this to your friends? This is not about me. You know, you coming to my church is not my church. It's Jesus' church. It's not you coming here and supporting me. And, no, this is not it. This is an equipping ground for you to be trained and equipped to go out and change this world. Amen. We want to be a, an outreach. Now, again, if you need for yourself, you're here. We're here to minister to you, to help you. But, again, if you have aspirations for ministry and, and in and outside of the church, well, that's what we want to do. We want to empower you 
So it's not you coming and hearing one guy preach a message and say, well, that was good. You know, look, and that's a good word. Let's go home now. That's not it. It's us. See, nothing is really learned unless we apply what, what we've heard. Unless we're actively doing it and, and, and actively participating in it. And so a lot of times when we have healing here, I don't even pray for people. I just, you're the ones praying for people. When we were over to Kathy's on Tuesday, that lady, she had the arthritis in her body and the pain in her knees. I didn't pray for her. Linda, there was another gal named Linda, and they did. We taught the authority, the dominion of God. They commanded that arthritis to go. They commanded yeah. that pain to go. The lady got up. She walked around. I think her name was Darlene. She said, I, I feel better. I said, are, are, don't tell me the truth. Are, are you? But she said, yeah. And she said, I still feel a tingling in my body. Well, that, again, whether you feel it or not, these people did it. I didn't do it. And so, again, we're all equal. Everybody can do this. Every yeah. single believer. So it's not a handful of ministers with titles that everybody runs to their meeting. No, the world, can, can I just say this to you? I'm done. I, I have a habit of carrying on. My wife is on me on this for a lot. I need to shut, shut it down when it needs to be shut down. But let, let me just say this to you. People should not be flocking to our churches. They should be flocking to our homes. You got that? They should know where you live. And they should be coming to your house. Because there's a healer in that house, and his name is Jesus, and he heals through you. And so it's not you come to my church and you'll be healed. The pastor will pray for you. I mean, we'll do that. Please, please don't misunderstand me. I'm not trying to be rude or coarse. I'm trying to make a point. You know, it's time for the church to be the church. And I'm saying the church, I'm talking about you as an individual. Doing what Jesus did. And people should be running to your home. Because they've heard that you believe this thing and you're getting results. Amen. And that is our intention. Not, not to build some big edifice. I mean, that will come. That, that's just the result of. But the real issue, what really God wants to do is the church that is the lighthouse. When I say the church, I mean people, individual people. When Jesus said, verily, verily, I say to you, he said, he that believes in me. Not, not us collectively, but he that believes on me. The individual person that believes in me. He'll do the same works that Jesus did. And that is our mission. And that is our, our intent of everything that we teach and everything we do to empower you as a believer to walk and live this earth as Jesus. Father, I thank you today for your word. I thank you for these people that came. Lord, let it not just be a nice message. But let us understand that the kingdom of God is here. It is within us. King Jesus and his dominion lives and reigns in and through our life. And Lord, that we can distribute by the authority, by the power, and through simple faith and trusting you. That power of God to change this world, to change people's lives, to change their bodies, to change your mind, change their minds, so that Jesus can be exalted and glorified. I thank you for it. I send these people forth now. I declare by faith in Jesus' name that they are mighty men and women of God, yeah. able and ready to minister at will the life and nature of God, the love of God. In Jesus' name, you are free. Amen. God bless you. You're free.